All right, guys, you asked for it, so here it is. The Hollywood Marquis Big Up, part one of two, build video. Let's do it. We don't need power tools? you damn right, no power tools. Now shut up and let's do it. All right, guys, it's time to unbox this thing. So it comes in a really, actually a really small compact package. I was expecting it to be in a little bit larger package, but uh, the guys over at Hollywood Marquis have packed it really, really nice. Uh, nothing was damaged in shipment. And clearly they take uh, a lot of pride in making sure that it gets to you safely. So I was pretty stoked about that. You know, it's, it's sometimes uh, an art to be able to do something like this and package it the way they did. So props to them for packaging it so neatly. All right, so in the kit, you're gonna get this toolkit that is the riser hardware and bezel hardware, and then you get some instructions with it. And the instructions are really, really clear, actually. Everything was really simple. I, I gotta give them serious props again for that. All these boards were actually taped together, so there's no way they were gonna separate in the package, and they stayed nice and tight. So after you remove this like packing tape type stuff from it, they're all ready to be assembled. Okay, so we can start the riser assembly now, and it's really pr quite simple. It's uh, got a notch side to it, and then all the pieces are actually labeled. And then all of the parts that uh, go with each section had little baggies with labels on them. So you really can't mess it up. It's uh, pretty simple and straightforward, and the, the instructions they provide are uh, really easy to follow. So those, those pieces, which I'll show you in a minute, all say front, back, left, right. So you know exactly where you need to put things. I was just putting this in to make sure uh, I got it all together correctly and it looks good. So these two pieces, these pieces say L and R, those are guide rails that help you get the one up cabinet on. So this was kind of a genius design because otherwise it'd actually be really hard to uh, to get the cabinet on top and, and make sure it's perfect. It might fall off. So this is actually per really great. It, it does really, really help get that thing up there. So after I'm done with this, it's uh, it's going to be on to the next step, but uh, I just I just drilled these holes in a little bit and here it is. So you see left. Um, and then you'll see front and you'll see everything else is labeled right. And then the, then there's also labels in the middle and then back for the back panel. So it makes it super simple and you can't really mess it up when you do the assembly. Hey guys, so we're going on to the next set of steps. This is where it gets a little bit more tricky, but Emilio still did a really great job explaining things. So I think I shouldn't have any problems with this. So the riser's complete, we're good to go. But now I gotta get to the NBA Jam cab and I need to take some things, um, and move some things around because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to route a channel that goes further down the cab so I can put in this front kick plate. Because uh, as you guys know, on the arcade one-up panel, there's actually uh, a channel there that this thing sits in between and it stops. So we want it to go all the way through because now that kick plate is longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back panel off a little bit. I gotta put this guy sort of on its side so I can see if I can get a different angle on it so I can then route out with this little routing tool that it gave me, route out that channel. So I'm gonna go do that real quick, get this thing into position, and then, uh, then we'll get right back to it. Oh damn, that's way heavier than I thought it would be. Oh, I haven't actually picked it up since I did uh, the modification. Holy crap. All right, oh shit, something's pulling off. What's going on? All right, all right, all right, I got this. Sorry, it's a family show. I didn't mean to swear, apologize. We're all big boys, but if you're underage, I'm sorry. Oh shit, God, my back. Oh, because my back's so bad, I can't even really like lift right, so it's definitely not good. If Kim is watching this, she's gonna be a little upset, but, and she does watch, so cool. Can't wait to hear that. Anyways, so, but if she was here, she would help. She always helps. All right, I'm gonna route this hole out now, and we'll see how this thing goes. All right guys, so I am back and I got my trusty tool right here. And this is the part where this slot extension tool is gonna make this go all the way down. So this groove is gonna go all the way down. So uh, according to the, the instructions here, I'm gonna saw back and forth in a straight line um, with the existing slot, which is right here. And the first few passes might be a little difficult and then it should get easier as I go. So wish me luck. This isn't something I've really done before, but uh, uh, doesn't scare Retro Ralph. I got this. So um, let's give it a shot. And I am using the riser as sort of a bench, but if you don't have a riser, then you could probably, uh, you know, 
improvise with a table or something like that. So far, so good. Oh, that's right. First couple passes were a little difficult, but this thing's going okay right now. All right, I'm making progress here. Now, key is don't go too far, right? It's got to go as deep as the existing channel, but not deeper than that. But so far, so good. I'm definitely going to need a vacuum in a little bit, which uh, one thing you guys probably don't know about is Retro Ralph is good at building things bad, 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 bad at cleaning up. Bad at cleaning up. All right, let's give it a little bit more oomph. Let me check the depth. It still looks like I got a ways to go there, so let's keep on cranking. All right, we're going to speed things up just a little bit here because uh, this took a little bit, but honestly, just take your time. It's not bad. I just was afraid, hey, I don't want to break through it, like go all the way through. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Just take your time with it and you'll be fine. A little pro tip would definitely be get a vacuum like you see in me in the video. It'll help a lot just cleaning it up and then you'll kind of see how deep you are into that channel. And you know, it looks like I'm about good there. So I'm gonna stop and do the other one. All right, so we finished the other side and it looks clean. So I think we're good. I think we got both of them complete and we're on to the next step, which should be a lot easier than these other steps. But keep in mind, I'm just joking. This wasn't actually very difficult. It was pretty simple. So even though this wasn't something I had done prior, it's no sweat. We got this. All right, so I have to flip the cabinet back so uh, I can put the uh, the cabinet on the new riser that we just built. So you'll notice those two guide rails are really going to help me put this on here. And it was funny because when I lifted it up, I actually was slightly off and I couldn't figure it out until uh, it was it was caught on something. But anyways, those those side rails really did help get me get it aligned. And then once I figured it out, it was good to go and it was on there. So not a big deal. Pretty easy. Okay guys, so we're on to the next step. Now, I did secure the CP down before we started this because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want anything to fall out or whatever. And because it's a JAMA board, it would have been kind of a pain for me to un, you know, undo everything. So I just took a little shortcut there. But now it's time to remove this because I wanna put that front graphics in. And the kit also comes with a replacement monitor bezel. So we're gonna have to uh, take that out too. So, and the marquee also is replaced during this kit, so we gotta do that as well. So now's the time we're gonna take some things apart here. All right, guys, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. So I'm just trying to tuck the CP out of the way, and I actually did the wiring so tight on this um, on this cabinet with the uh, buttons, joysticks, and, uh, and and all the other wiring that it's really hard to maneuver in there. But anyways, I'm gonna get it here in a minute. And then what we're gonna do is install that front kick plate. So a lot of people, when I when I get, uh, did the first video, are wondering how did this cabinet get so tall, and it's because of that custom riser and it's the same width as the cabinet. So when you put this front kick plate in, it just looks seamless. It looks like one entire clean cabinet versus, you know, um, the riser on the one up, which is, you know, wider obviously, uh, and deeper than the uh, one up cabinet. So that's how it gets, gives it that, that streamlined look. All right, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and give you guys a closer look real quick. So now you can see the dramatic effects that has that elongated kick plate. Uh, it just makes the machine look like one long big piece, but we still have a lot of work to do because we got to get the rest of the modification complete. So I'm going to stop here and this is going to be a two part series. So let's just stop. We'll wrap it up real quick and then uh, I'll give you some final thoughts and we'll go to part two in the next episode. Hey guys, that about wraps up part one of a two part build series for the Hollywood Marquis Big Up Upgrade Kit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I think it answered some questions that everyone had from the first um, video. I felt that there was a lot of interest and there was a lot of questions around, you know, how does the cabinet get so big? And the riser is really the answer to that, which you saw the build process for here. Uh, I'm really digging this cabinet. It seems like from the feedback on the first video, you guys really digging this cabinet. So that gets me all stoked and excited, uh, which is awesome. So Emilio's super excited too. He's uh, totally blown away by the response. Uh, so it's going to be really important that you put your comments below uh, on this video and the review video so that he can chime in and answer your questions. And since I had some firsthand experience, I will actually try to answer as many of those questions as I can as well. So 
Uh, one really cool piece of information is Emilio uh, offered a cabinet or, a, or an upgrade kit for the channel that I can use as a giveaway. Uh, I'm not very good at giveaways, so I'm going to figure out how to do that, so stay tuned on that. But there will be a part two to this coming up in the next couple days, which will complete the process. So thanks for joining, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to um, turn on notifications so you can be informed of future videos. And that's it for now. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.